This is the Samsung T7 Touch, the successor to Samsung's super popular T5 external SSD. What's the touch part in the name? Well, you can touch it to unlock the files inside. But is this battery bank looking little drive worth its price tag over the still really nice Skittles colored T5? And am I so out of ideas that I'm reviewing a little storage device? Let's find out with a little review. I really want to talk about how fast this little guy is, so I timestamped it for you right here. But I also want to talk about a lot before we get there, because to be honest with you, this drive is a lot more than just a speedy little race car. The first thing you'll notice about the Samsung T7 Touch is the square placed right on top of the SSD. It sticks out and you can't actually press it. It's not a physical button. It's just a fingerprint reader. The entire exterior is now made of this aluminum from all angles, while the T5 originally had black plastic on two of its sides. The T7 is also a little bit longer than the Samsung T5. The T7 is also boring when it comes to color, with just black and silver. The T7 comes with both a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable and a USB Type-C to USB 3 cable. Anyway, let's start off by talking about sheer performance numbers before we discuss user experience like the fingerprint scanner, because there are a lot of asterisks around its performance. Performance. Samsung states that the T7 is twice as fast as the Samsung T5. Well, I have the T5 right here. So why don't we do a little testing and compare the T7 to the T5 and compare the T7 and T5 to this potato of an external hard drive. Well, good thing I already did the testing. Here's the results. When I tested the performance of the drives, I found that sequential read and write speeds for the T7 were double that of the T5. That means for moving a few massive files, this thing just flies. Like, it's, it's crazy fast. The T5 did, however, have similar performance in random reads and writes as the T7. Well, they were much closer than, than sequential reads and writes. So when you're moving large amounts of small files, they'd be similar in performance. The external hard drive? Well, this potato was by far the slowest in every single category. I tried these tests multiple times and for over three hours, so please, just trust me, please. It's slower. So great, don't buy anything else, right? Just, just buy the T7 outright, don't bother looking at anything else. This thing is just a little bit pricier at 130 for 500 gigabytes, but twice the performance. Why would you look at anything else? Well, you see, that's where the asterisk comes in. Sure, it's twice as fast, but it's only that fast if you meet certain criteria. Let me explain. The Samsung T7 utilizes a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port. Yeah, okay, that's a really long name. What's your point, Jimmy? Confusing naming convention aside, basically, the Samsung T5 has speeds of up to around 550 megabytes per second. And the T7 can do basically double that because it's USB 3.2 Gen 2. And here's the problem. Many older laptops and even more recent ones don't have this port. So you have to be careful because if your laptop doesn't have that exact specification, then it can't run those at maximum overdrive. And if you decide to use the USB-C to USB 3 cable with the Samsung T7, then you'll be limited to USB 3 speeds. I have a 2016 MacBook Pro, which does support USB 3.2 Gen 2 and had some time to play with it. And here are my thoughts. It definitely helps me in my video editing process. I edit my videos straight off of the drive and I've experienced no stuttering or strange hangs. But then again, it's only been two weeks with this drive. Now let's talk about the fingerprint reader. It's a nice touch when you plug it into the SSD. You can download Samsung software on a Mac or PC and set up a password and fingerprint. And weirdly enough, you can also get updates through the app when they decide to do that. The fingerprint reader on the SSD lights up when it's in use and the light circles around the fingerprint reader when you're reading or writing files which initially looks really, really cool and futuristic and all, but the light is really bright and is distracting in dim settings. Another downside I see with this app is that if you want to use your T7 with another device, you have to download the app again on the other machines if you want to unlock and use the T7. So really, who is this SSD for? It's great for content creation because you can move large files quickly. You can even edit video straight off of the drive. It's also a nice backup drive for people with fast storage like NVMe SSDs found in some laptops like Apple's MacBooks or Microsoft Surface laptops. And for those who need extra security for those super top secret plans to take over the world or something. Those are just to name a few different things this thing can be used for. As for everyone else, the ones who don't need those features, I think the T5 meets their needs enough. That is, until most laptops have USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports or, or the non-touch T7 comes out. Personally, I think I'm going to return mine so I can get another T7 
with more storage space. Anyway, guys, what do you think? Is the extra speed and fingerprint reader worth the cost over the T5? Does your computer have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port to handle these drives? Are there any better alternatives out there? Leave all that down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And well, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.